What's up you guys, welcome to the Single Guy Channel. I'm Lloyd and today we're gonna to be talking about how to bring a girl away from her friends and kind of isolate her and get that one-on-one -on -one time. Now I know there's a lot of guys out there, a lot of coaches that are teaching you to not isolate and you should win over the friends and that's your technique to try and end up going home with the girl that you actually like. So. I don't know who keeps saying this. People who tell you to not talk to the girls that you're interested in are not getting laid and they really don't know what they're talking about. Um, so you shouldn't listen to that advice. At some point in time, if you wanna bring a girl home, you're gonna have to isolate her. So if you are talking to a girl that you really like and you're kind of in a, you're kind of in a group of friends, how do you bring her away? Well, the easiest way to bring her away is to think of an activity or something for you guys to do um, together. So you can do something very simply like inviting her to the bar and getting a drink with you. That's the easiest, most basic one that almost uh, that I use all the time and it's the most normal one that you can use in your everyday life. I mean, if you're already out at the bar or a party or whatever, it's the most normal thing to do. Um, everybody's doing it. Then you're gonna have, you can make the drink or order the drink or whatever and then you get that time to talk to each other and see if you guys gel. So there's also some other options that you have and what you need to start thinking about when you're going out and if you have trouble doing this, start practicing where you look for fun things to do when you're out. If you're out at a bar or you're out at something or whether you're just walking and approaching girls on the street or even at the park, find fun things to do that other people can do with you. And if you have a girl that you like and you want her to do that activity with you, you should invite her and that gives you the opportunity to do this activity together and you guys can talk and see if you guys work out. So at the bar there are a few options there's the first option that I just mentioned which is getting a drink at the bar or sometimes they have like a pool table or other activities sometimes darts or, or whatever people are usually bored at the bar anyway so any activity is gonna be fun for them so if even if you don't know how to play pool or you're not very good with darts just doing something fun with another person is more than enough. If you're good at flirting and you're good at bantering, then you can like make fun of her if she misses, or you can make fun of yourself if you play horrible. <laughs> um, usually women don't care how good you are at pool. They're not gonna sleep with you if you're like, they're not gonna not sleep with you if you're a terrible pool player or whatever. They're just trying to have fun. So the pool table is one option. Sometimes bars have a photo booth that you can go into. Um, if the girl is really into you, you can even get a quick makeout in there too. Take some funny pictures or something like that. Um, sometimes, like a dartboard, like I said, sometimes they have a wheel that you can spin and then whatever you get, you have to drink. Uh, it, look for fun things that are at a bar. I mean, in San Francisco, there's tons of options that you have out here. There's one bar that um, actually has a golf course in it called Urban Putt. And so if I was drinking at a bar nearby and I found a girl that you know I really liked, I would invite her to go play mini golf with me or, or I would invite her to go to a different part of the bar and do something fun. Start thinking about fun things for you guys to do um, while you're out and it's a perfect excuse to pull her away from her friends. Okay, or maybe they can even join you. If you're playing pool and it's like you're talking to like a, a, a set of three girls or something like that, then it's a two on two. It's an easy, easy team right there. Um, other options for, you know, if you're playing darts, you can include them as well. But if you also want to just play with a girl, that's fine too. A lot of people think that you need to include the friends at all points in time. That's not true. People are adults. They know when a girl's talking to a guy who she likes, they're going to give her some space. If they're mean and they're nasty, talking to them and befriending them isn't going to help you. They're still going to want to cock block you. They're still going to want to, uh, you know, they're still going to think that you're unsafe and it'll actually invite them to cock block you more because now they feel like they can talk to you. Now they feel like they can tell you what to do. Oh, you can talk to her later. Just get her number. You can hang out with her later. You're usually going to get a lot of those things. So when you're going out, look for fun things for you guys to do, do an activity, and if she's willing to do that activity with you and willing to leave her friends, chances are she's really into you, man, and she's probably gonna come home with you, or it's more likely that she's gonna come home with you. And again, don't waste your time befriending the friends and spending all your time with her friends. Talk to the girls that you wanna talk to. At some point in time, you're gonna have to bring her home and you're gonna have to isolate her from her friends, unless you wanna bring all of her friends home, <laughs> which if you're me, you might have a shot of doing, uh, but you're probably not gonna to do that so that's how you do it man thanks a lot you guys if you made it to the end of this video consider subscribing i come out with videos like this every single week trying to bring value for you thanks a lot and good luck out there